Hello kids, daddy's here. Right now, Matthew quickly packs and prepares to from 1982, titled The Beach Girls. Prepare your snacks to feel the cringe and crunch. Be a good kid and subscribe to daddy's channel. Spoilers ahead, watch out. The film begins in the summer of 1982, when school is out. A schoolgirl named Sarah is heading to her uncle's beach house to spend the summer. When she arrived, she read a letter from his uncle that said, have a hell of a summer. It turns out, her uncle is leaving and Sarah is allowed to use his beach house for the entire summer. A few seconds later, Sarah's friends, Ginger and Ducky, who are two college students, arrive with a hitchhiker named Scott. Scott introduces himself to Sarah, who takes a liking to him. They go for a walk on the beach. Scott compliments Sarah that she is way more pretty than Ginger and Ducky. At night, Ginger and Ducky came up with an idea of throwing a party at the beach house. They start inviting all boys from delivery service by calling them from the yellow pages. Their plan was successful, starting with the pizza boys. However, Sarah believes that throwing a party is a bad idea. Ginger advises her to relax because school is out and it is summer. She persuades her that it is only a small party. The party has started and everyone is having a good time. But for Sarah the party is getting out of hand. Ginger tells her to relax. One of the neighbors calls Sarah's uncle's fiancé named Julie and inform her that a large party is going on in his beach house. Julie then calls Sarah's uncle, Carl, to inform him about the situation at his beach house. He says that it must be Sarah and her friends, and he would handle it as soon as he returns. Tom, the maintenance guy, peered at the pool, where some girls are swimming topless. Unlucky, his legs slipped and he fell down the stairs. When he wakes up, he can't take her eyes away from two hot girls, which causes him to fall again. Meanwhile, on the beach, there is a pex contest between men and women. Sarah decides to spend time at the beach with Scott. They open up about their future dreams. The neighbor reports the police about this crazy party. But the policeman who shows up decides to join the party after being teased by Ginger. Meanwhile, at the open seas, the smugglers are terrified because the Coast Guard is following their boat. The captain makes the decision to throw bags of pots into the sea. The next day, Carl arrives at his beach house and discovers a bunch of cars parked in his yard. Carl is speechless about what is going on in his house. He approaches Sarah and tells her that he is not angry just surprised because this is not just like Sarah he knew. He suggests they finish the party, but everyone, including Ginger and Ducky, must leave the next morning. Ducky and Ginger, on the other hand, decide to persuade Carl otherwise by seducing him in various ways. The next day, Ducky successfully convinces Carl to take her sailing and seduce him. Their plan has been successful, and Carl has agreed to let them throw another party. The neighbor who witnessed Carl getting too close to Ducky and Ginger calls Julie and informs her. Ducky and Ginger discover discarded bags of pots dumped by smugglers while walking along the beach. They give it out in baggies as party favors to everyone who shows up at the next party. After everyone had smoked the pot, everyone began to chill, including Sarah, who finally let go and had some fun. Julie comes at the beach house and discovers Carl enjoying a sauna with two girls. Carl's attempt to explain the problem to Julie is useless, and she ends their engagement. Julie runs into a handsome policeman on her way out. She suddenly forgets about Carl. Unfortunately, the Coast Guard discovers their party. They get into the beach house and discover the pot. They instruct everyone to go to the beach while they seize everything. At the beach where everyone gathers, the Coast Guards toss the pots onto the bonfire. However, the smoke of the pots gets everyone high, making them, including Sarah, chill and having a good time. Scott then takes Sarah to the other side of the beach and kisses her. Meanwhile, Julie and Carl eventually find their path of happiness. Carl invites Ducky and Ginger to join him on his trip. They both agree. Ducky, unaware, tosses a crate of fireworks onto the bonfire, burning the fireworks and creating a spectacular display for closing the party. The Coast Guards who are high are freaked out by the fireworks. They believe they are under attack and returning to their ship. That's all for today kids. Please watch and subscribe this another Sigma's channel.